The map is divided into different spaces. When you click on a space, you can select your units into that space and move or attack with them. You can move up to all your units in a single space each turn, but you can't move two units from different spaces in one turn. Roads make traveling easier for your armored vehicles, so if they pass through spaces with a road, they can actually move further. Forests and cities are harder to approach than usual spaces, so they give a bonus in defense to the units that reach them first. Rivers help the defender too, since they only allow one attacker per turn. At the end of each day, your units will need supplies. The supply line passes through the spaces you have conquered during the past day. So, be careful to conquer all the necessary spaces near your units. Otherwise, they won't be able to move the next day, even though they will fight back if attacked by the enemy. If they still won't receive supply for another day, they won't be able to fight anymore and will eventually die if surrounded by the enemy or attacked by them. It is also important to notice that the supply line is fundamental for the victory condition. As the Axis, you need to make your supply line reach an allied unit adjacent to the Meuse River. While as the Allies, cutting the supply line of the enemy may be the best way to stop him from reaching his target. Each day is composed by a random number of turns to make the game more realistic and unpredictable. So it's a good idea to give your most important orders at the start of the day, since you may not be able to move all of your units in one day. Each day may have special conditions or events that can favor you or your opponent. The calendar can help you keep track of them, so be sure to check it often. Fighting is an important factor in this game, so here are a couple of hints. Each unit has a number of pips that represent both its health and its strength in battle. Some units have a badge near their silhouette, meaning that they are elite troops. This means that they are stronger in battle, so think twice before engaging them. Always keep in mind that each space has a different terrain, or is supported by allied or enemy artillery, or support that could favor your enemy or your units. So be sure to check the fight details before committing to a battle. Whenever one of your tanks forces to retreat or kills an enemy unit, it can move one step ahead. Even though it looks like an interesting chance, don't forget that on the next turn your enemy could surround that unit, leaving you in a very dangerous situation. In the end, remember to pay attention to the type of units you are using and facing. Be sure to capture the crucial spaces for your supply line before the day ends. Always move your most important units as soon as you can, and check the battle details before engaging in a fight. Sometimes, though, sacrificing a unit can mean victory, while trying to save everyone can mean defeat.